From the North Bay Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gair McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by North Bay Bank. Want a North Bay Bank teller to keep in your pocket? There's an app for that. Now available for iPhone and Android. Download yours today. North Bay Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Police in Maine say a New Hampshire woman has admitted robbing banks in Conway and York, Maine last year. York police say 36-year-old Roxanne Esty, also known as Roxanne Gillis of Gorham, New Hampshire, pleaded guilty to both robberies yesterday after waiving extradition. Police say she robbed the Bank of New Hampshire in Conway May 11th and the Kennebunk Savings Bank in York May 29th after standing in line and presenting the tellers with a note. Police have not said how much cash was stolen in either robbery. The Portsmouth Herald reports Esty is a former nurse who had her nursing license suspended in December of 2011 for allegedly diverting drugs, according to the New Hampshire Board of Nursing website. Conway police say four people are charged with various drug-related offenses after a months-long investigation into the possession and sale of controlled drugs in Conway. Lieutenant Chris Perley says three people were arrested after a search around 9.30 Monday night at an apartment at Whitman Woods on Grove Street in North Conway. Detective units along with patrol officers from the Conway Police Department executed a search warrant at an apartment for the suspected trafficking, packaging, and distribution of dangerous narcotic drugs. The search resulted in the seizure of illegal narcotics, U.S. currency, prescription pills, marijuana. Officers arrested 35-year-old Gabrielle E. Delano and 28-year-old Christopher J. Spinney of North Conway and 35-year-old Michael W. Robel of Hampton, New Hampshire. All three appeared before a district court judge in Conway Tuesday afternoon. Sergeant George Walker says the judge ordered Robel held without bail because he had been previously convicted of possession with intent to sell or dispense. Robel was charged with criminal liability for the conduct of another and possession of controlled narcotic drugs. He faces a potential prison term of life and fines of more than half a million dollars if convicted. Bail for Delano was set at $15,000 cash. If convicted, she faces a potential maximum prison term of 37 years and more than half a million dollars in fines. She's charged with possession of controlled narcotic drugs with intent to sell. Bail for Spinney was set at $25,000 cash. He's charged with criminal liability and possession of controlled narcotic drugs. And if convicted, faces a potential prison term of 37 years and more than half a million dollars in fines. Walker says a fourth suspect in the case, 30-year-old Jesse J. Galvin of North Conway, was arrested last week and is free on bail. He's charged with possession of controlled narcotic drugs with the intent to sell, and if convicted, could be sentenced up to 14 years in jail and fined more than $100,000. Here's Pearly again. This is yet another example of the exhaustive efforts that both the Conway Police Department and the members of the detective unit put forth into investigating and apprehending people who deal in, use, and distribute dangerous narcotics in our community. We know drugs kill. We're not going to tolerate this kind of behavior. It's illegal. It's unwanted in our community, and we will exhaust all efforts to suppress it. In sports, lefty Jeff Locke had a strong day yesterday as he continues his quest for a spot in the starting rotation of the Pittsburgh Pirates. In his third start of spring training, the Redstone Rocket pitched four innings while allowing just a single run on three hits. He struck out three batters and walked two as his Pirates beat the Boston Red Sox 9-3 in Fort Myers, Florida. Locke's performance was much improved over Fridays when he gave up three runs over three innings. The Celtics beat the Indiana Pacers 83-81 last night. Kevin Garnett found Jeff Green all alone under, under the basket for a layup with just a half second remaining to finish off a fourth quarter comeback from 14 points down. In the weather today, cloudy with a chance of snow. Snow likely in southern Carroll County, mainly this afternoon, with a total accumulation of 1 to 3 inches. Highs of the low to mid-30s, northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Cloudy tonight with a chance of snow, lows in the mid-20s, and mostly cloudy on Friday, a chance of snow in the morning, highs in the mid-40s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.